Page 56, Tracte Teruvin, six lines from the top of the page. אמר רב יהודה אמר רב, כל עיר שיש בה מעלות ומורדות, אדם ובהמה שבה מתים בחצי מהם. Cities that has a high hill, low valleys. So people die half of their lives. What does that mean? מתים סקה דעתך, you mean to say that they really die? אלא אם המזקינים בחצי מהם. מזקינים meaning they get old earlier. So he said, אמר אבו נא ברד רב יהושע, הנמיל מוליאתא דבי ריבי בירי ודבי נרש אז קנון. So he bring example of the ascents and descents between those two cities in Babylon, which is his place of residence. So I, I, I grew older um, from, from those uh, high hill and, and low valley. So what's involved here? I talked the other day with the, um, we are blessed here with more than 30 uh, medical doctors. So a fellow that uh, served in Hopkins, um, Johns Hopkins Hospital, so he, uh, we talk about exercising, etc. So he said that sometimes people make a certain diets and it's not healthy. Or uh, if you look at the bone of a person, so if a, uh, he or she live in a place, according to his view, that they exercising daily and everything, it's good. But he said sometimes it's not good. He said an example, if a person in, is very tired, let's say he didn't sleep several nights or he post surgery and things like that, he needs to give his body a time to, uh, for recovery. But if he goes ahead and he starts going upstairs, downstairs, exercising heavily, he's harming himself more than doing good because he's not using his muscle properly. So as much as he's excellent to go upstairs, which, which people said it's best for diet, it's not good to do it every day if a person is not in a physical condition. In other words, trace a situation, a person went to a serious, um, a full Anesthesiology, anesthesia uh, 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 surgery. Mm -hmm. I was in a hospital for a long time. Boom! The next day he started going um, a thousand stairs. It's not healthy. So he said that he lived in a place that is a very high hill and, and low sea. Um, for example, I officiated not long ago in um, Seattle, the wedding of a uh, Alex Ratner, the son of the Dr. Ratner. So I was there for Shabbat, and they have a very, very high hill. Those of you who visit uh, uh, Seattle in Washington, it's a very high hill. And um, so he hold that because he not always was in a physical condition, it um, expedites um, his days. But again, uh, the whole idea in our practical way, we need to ask an expert all the time, when and where and how to do exercise. Exercise is very healthy as long as we do it properly. Um, um, some people do 5K and, and, um, and competing with the kids, it's not always healthy. So in other words, you have to measure everything in proper balance. I see, yeah, I see you have a question. You always have to make sure that the body get that time to recover. Because if the body don't recover, then it will... Yeah, the body not finish, recover, yeah. it's an issue. In you general, lose, yeah. I just digress for a second. In general, the whole idea of um, be careful with ourselves, with our body, is a very serious question. Last night, I was sitting with the family members, people in our community, and it was a heavy debate over... Um, how to treat a body of a mother who was very ill. And um, she's at her 90s, and the issue was that um, it wasn't a halachic living will. Mm -hmm. In my 11 years of this, in, in this community, and my six years in my previous community, I cannot tell you how many times I talk with people to go on the website. There are several sites. The site that I recommended highly is the Agudat Israel site. They have in that side halachic living will. 
what is Allah living will is why it's so crucial. I'm just saying it as a side note because it's crucial. Allah living will basically tells us that since we never know our days, uh, can be a uh, hundred years from now or tomorrow, and a person between the age of 10 or 120 never know what his, his or her future hold. Therefore, halachic living will, it's about, I think, five or six pages. And Aguda does it so beautifully, they divided it to different states. So, for example, here in the state of Maryland, you can click on that part and you see a very clear explanation what's involved. You can put it as an amendment to your regular will or you make it independent. But in a, that halachic living will is a very clear specification what the person wishes. Because last night we have a debate over DNR, uh, do not resuscitate issue. Uh, by halacha, we're not allowed to do a passive euthanasia. And the issue is, since it wasn't any written will of a, of a person, what exactly persons wish, to, then you need to make decisions for them, and it's very painful. Aguda does that very professionally, in my view, and you send them the form and they send you a card and you put it in your wallet so he or she can have a very direct and clear halachic living will what they want to do in case God forbid something happens. Should you keep a copy of that form too? Yes, like yes, for yes. For your family yes, to yes, have? Yes, uh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Or oh, oh, you just sending them a copy? They, just... they one by them, one by you. But the key point is okay. you, you make a very clear mm -hmm expression of what exactly it's your wishes and it leaves it removes a lot of pain from the family uh, because otherwise they are in a state of quandary they don't know what to do they they start some cases in my many years experiences it was unpleasant fight between the children how to do it what to do and it's extremely painful the family anyway back to our subject now we go to the um whole idea of measurement in a city. Tanu Rabanan, Bale Rabba, Merabba, Beribu Aulam, Nutem Sfonalit, Sfonolam, Udroma, Lidrom Olam, Vesimanach, Egla, Batsafon, Vakrav, Badarom. So here we talk about measurement of a city. So what's the issue of measurement of the city? A person is standing. Usually, how a person stands. You look, you see the north. You know, in our days we have a campus, right? But you remember in those years in the service. In my time, they used to, uh, when we trained as officers, so they, they, they let us do a navigation by ourselves independently and, and we basically um, not allowed to use the map. The map was sealed and only in emergency you used. So you need to navigate according to the, uh, sometimes the, um, the moon um, and you need to measure how to get to, so here, you see a situation that um, in order to, if you have a city that it's round, remember we talked yesterday about round city? So um, he needs to use the world measurement, which means you take the city as a ir merubat, as a square, and, and basically it's independent city. And now he said, which means usually north and south are much familiar for people. The others, it's harder. So he said, how you do that? He said, there is a, if you know, they, they each month has their own um, um, mazal. How do you say it, David? The mazal of each month. Like, for example, I think this month is an ox. Another, uh, there is a... Oh. Uh, yeah. Scorpion, Scorpion, yeah. etc. You have for each yes, month a different um, um, so astrological what, sign. Astrological, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Astrological sign. So if you look at the sky, they um, they uh, there are some who are higher than the others, which means um, they give you a signal. If you look at the stars, and and you figure out how um, how the 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 wheel run. So he said that's the way you can measure the city. I remember that was the Talmudic time. They have here another suggestion. Um, 
in, uh, in general, we're not. Uh, we it's beyond our um, scope of um, time to discuss the astronomical part of the um, how they run. But in a um, very general term, the sun um, rise every day in the east, and 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 sundown in the west. So, but in general, it's not coming out the same location every day. So if we take a line from uh, the east to the west, you see that is a difference between the summer and the winter, right? Summertime, um, um, it's um, coming from the north, right. and, and the wintertime is coming out and, and, and down from the south, and, and then it's a difference between the globe, the north part and the south part. Um, um, for example, in the Talmudic time, there is a different time. It's called Tkufat Tammuz. Tammuz is, Tammuz is like a, a, mo a month and a half from now, which is um, um, uh, a, a season that we call it this in our language a summertime. Um, and therefore, um, the days are much longer. In a Tevet, which is the winter time, the days are shorter. You see it in the time of Shabbat ended. Shabbat ended very soon, especially in the time of Tammuz, the longest Shabbatot. So therefore, um, it's changed according to the four season of the year. But um, but the whole direction of the sun every day change. Um, um, so uh, it's it's a uh, it's. Um, um, the Chazunish said, in, uh, the Rabbi Chazunish is Rav Karelitz, he explained in his book when he dealt with this uh, sugiya, that when you're dealing with the, with the world, most of the time, in a Talmudic time, um, they're dealing with places that connected to Eretz Israel. So therefore, uh, they dealt with the highest part of the globe. So the measurement in the Talmud usually apply to um, um, something relate to their location. So, um, um, and therefore we have to take all those measurements in that context of the, the north part of the globe. So here, um, he said, he, he, that's one direction. There's another one, Rabbi Yossi and Rashi said that um, unfortunately, most of the people are not so familiar of how to take measurement. And sometimes a person needs to do it, um, as we talk many times in this halachot, individually. So how he will be able to do it in, in a sense, extemporaneously. So he said, if which means he doesn't, he is not familiar with all these astronomical figures. So what did he do? Merab'a kemin hatkufa. So as she said, you have to go by the season when is the sunrise, sunset, and make this manim again? In our days, we go on the, those uh, your sites and you get the clearest manim, and therefore you can have the figures uh, much clearer. But he said, "Keitzad chamayotz abayom aroch veshukad biyom aroch." The sunrise in the longest day, which is the Tammuz time, the 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 summer time, which you have one day that is the longest day of the whole year. And he said, and it sunset in that longest day, Zehu Pnei Tzafon, which means that's the, the, the most highest point of the north, uh, which means you have four points in that circle, and it's basically northeast, um, southeast, um, southwest, and northwest. So these four points, it connected to each other, and um, it's like you go like in, in, in the language of the like a clock yeah. or a rainbow and it's go and it's it's the four part of the world so uh, <coughs> so he said which is again Rashi explained is a Kufat Tevet the winter time which is the winter time you have a some days that are extremely short, but the, when it is the shortest day of the whole year, Zehup Neidarom, that's the, the south limitation of the city, which is um, matching the line that connected between those lines. 
So again, if you look in that sense at the stars, you see that it's always go to the south, and you have in the summer, which is the Tammuz, the longest days, and uh, and it's coming out in the east, north, northeast, and then you go through the south, and it's the sunset in the northwest, versus the days of Tevet, the winter time, it starts with the east, south, and it's coming down to the south, and then you have the, the ending of the, of the west south. So he said that's the way you can measure it. Tkufat Nisan and Tkufat Tishrei, the Nisan and Tishrei, that it's basically about a week equal. The sun rise where in a half of the east, which is the midst of the east part. Veshokad b'chatzi ha'marav, and the sunset in a half of the west. Shneemar, that's a famous statement that King Solomon said. Holech el darom, vesovev el tzafon. They said it's a famous statement. Let me read it directly from the book. It's in the Ecclesiastic. One generation passes away, and another generation comes. But the earth abides forever. The sun also rises and the sun goes down and hasten to its place where it rises again. Listen carefully. It goes toward the south and turns about to the north. Round and round goes the wind and on its circuits the winds return. Ecclesiastic chapter 1, 4 to 6. So what we understand from this verse we understand that this is the sun movement. He said, Holech el darom, the sun go to the south, Bayom, during the day, which means the sun coming south during the day, and cross the south part of the, um, the um, cloud. And then, Vesovev el tzafon, and go around, go to the north, Balayla. Why it's Balayla? Why it's at night? Because at that time the sun go around by the north wind. So when they have the north wind, since it's always go by the rainbow way, which is from east to west, so it's always coming down to the south. So if you, you complete this circle to a full cycle, um, you, it means that the line that connected in full in that, that rainbow, it's coming down toward, toward the north, and it go under the line of the north, even in the winter time. And Rashi explained that during the night, the, the sun go above the the clouds which means during the night it's basically the sun is there but it's go in our language above clouds so the cloud is basically created a temporary darkness for us and uh, he explained um, and that's another rush in Baba Batra uh, 25b he said that um, um, at night is like they have some type of of a cover like like um, head cover and it's go above that at night. That's, that's part of the cycle. Um, so again, in our simple way, the Maharal explained it in a book called Be'er Gola, chapter 6. He said that in our simple language, what happened is that um, in, in, in the, the, whole le the whole universe is like a ball in our simple language. And therefore, at night, the, the sun go under our uh, our um, uh, ball, but um, um, Maharal said, "Do not take all this discussion literally. There is much more in this." And again, I urge you to read it. It's in a book called Be'er Gola, chapter six. The Maharal go in the mystical explanation of this of all of these texts, not in a literal way. And as you know, there are many ways to see that the text, the scripture. And here we just talk in the literal sense. Sovev, sovev, holech haruach. So the wind, they go 
um, around and round goes the wind. Ruach, what is a ruach? In simple ways, wind. wind. But here it can be also direction or side. So, um, in other words, the desire of the sun it's sometimes to go around, to go around, but uh, we said, Rashi explained in Kohelet that um, it shows that Hashem controlling, like he doesn't leave in, in a bit of second the sun to do what, what the sun wished to, uh, and Hashem control it, otherwise the world cannot survive. Elu pnei Mizrach u pnei Ma'arav. That's apply the face of the east and the face of the west, which is Pe'amim mehalachtan, pe'amim mesababtan, that sometimes the sun travels them visibly, and sometimes it turns about them without being seen. So if you talk about the long day on Tammuz, Rashi said, that the sun cross both east and west, west uh, uh, the wind part. Why? Because the sun come with the wind, of the north east and they come with that wind to the southeast until half of the day that then the sun stand in the south and then the sun go by the very strong western wind until it set in the north west part and that movement that cross the um, cloud the, um, uh, it's it's called mehalachtan. It's moving it. However, if you go the other way around, when is the shortest day of the year? You go to the uh, winter time, which called kufat teivet. It's a um, uh, short days. So therefore, at that, that time the sun did not cross a eastern wind and western wind during the day. Why? Because during that winter season, the sun is only in the west all day long, regardless if it's the time of the sun set or the sun rise and there, and, or, or the middle of the day. So therefore it's not cross the, um, the, um, the sky, the, the, the cloud by the eastern wind, and western wind during the day, but it's only go around at night under the, which we call the ball of the universe. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think in your Gemarot, uh, you must probably have some uh, uh, graphic and pictures, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it can Absolutely. help, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just using the, the Ivrit text. Amar of Mishashia. Rav Mesharshia rejected this brighter by other brighter. He said, Leitnu lehanei klale. These rules that you said, that what we said at the doing, the, the, the summertime, the Tammuz time, the sun come in the north, east, and come down to the western uh, north, and in the winter time, which called Kufat Eved, it's come out with the east south and go in the western south it's incorrect the Tanya lo yatsa chama me'olam mikeret mizrachit sfonit veshaka bekeren ma'aravi dromit he said the sun has never risen even during the summer at the northeastern corner of the sky and he said, and set in the northwestern corner. Velo yatsa chama mikeren mizrachi dromit veshaka bekeren maravid dromit. Also, not has sun ever risen even during the winter at the southeastern corner and set in the southwestern corner. So, when you need to build this direction of the world according to the sun's path only during the autumn and the spring. So, uh, otherwise, um, in a time of Tevet, the sun is moving big part of the east and west, even during the day. Which means, 
each day go in distance because you're coming back to the west north and and um, I must say as a side note the famous Chafetz Chaim Chafetz Chaim it was a great uh, Rabbi Israel of Radim so he said in the Kabbalistic literature they said that south is expression of Chochmah of wisdom someone who wants to have wisdom goes south and the north is the wealth in the literature north is wealth so he said here is implication for the is, is ingenious Dvar Torah he said, the Chafetz Chaim said that this is the circle of life a person beginning his life he wants to go south he wants to be Tamid Chacham he wants to be involved with Torah life and to be Torah scholar etc but then you have just a small Sivuv Sivuv Katan, just a small cycle he said I just going out for a short time to make some wealth but I'll be back in a Torah's life so he said King Solomon said Sovev, Sovev, Sovev you go around, you go around, you go around, you go around with no ending until the end of his life he stay where? in the north which means for money you never go far away so we just learned day before yesterday about the merchants and about um, all these business people that we said that um, the, the, those people who said, well, when I retire, I'll start study Torah, right? I'm too busy with uh, making money. So it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to work this way. So the Hafez Chaim said that's a very important personal lesson to our lives, that um, you can go around, 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 around north and dream about being in the south. It's not going to happen. You have to establish the earliest the better because no one knows how long we'll be around. And the day before yesterday we explained that the person must accumulate wealth of Torah during his lifetime. And therefore he should focus on the south and the north is just a temporary side note but not the focus of a person's life. That's a beautiful note of the Chafetz Chaim. So, since we talk about a different season of the year, and we talk about the, how to make the, the square corner of the city. Now the Gemara also speak about season. Year divided to how many days? 365 and a quarter. Excellent. 365 and a quarter. So now if we divided the year to four different seasons, so each time will be 91 days. Seven and a half hours. And seven and a half hours. So if Nisan, which is the springtime, start at the, at the beginning of the night of the fourth day of the week, so the Tammuz, the summertime, will be in 91 days later, mm -hmm. the same day of the week, seven and a half hours after the beginning of the night, which means hour and a half after the middle of the night. Next one, the time of Tishrei, so it's uh, like the um, <coughs> that's the uh, the four will be the yeah the, the autumnal equinox autumnal equinox so yeah. you have another 13 weeks additional 13 weeks 91 the, days yep. right right which is the, the same day of the week 15 hours after the beginning of the night which means 3 hours after the beginning of the day and then we go to the fourth season which is the time of Teved winter time mm -hmm. so it's another uh, 13 weeks winter solstice right and it's a uh, 10 and a half hours after the beginning of the day which is four and a half hours after the middle of the day so then when the sun come again it will be on the eve of the fifth day of the thursday six hours after the beginning of the night the middle of the day so it means that if, uh, the difference between the beginning of uh, each season to the following season it's seven and a half hours and the difference between the beginning of each season in the year to the following season it's a day and six hours 
Um, I just want to go to the next step to clarify, again, to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Believe me, it's much simpler than you think. I look at some of your faces. <laughs> Year has, in general term, 365 days. And a quarter. And a quarter. Plus six hours, okay? Mm -hmm. We divided the year to four, four different seasons. So take 360 divided by four, it's 90, okay? You add to that these hours, you go to um, uh, all together to 91 days and seven and a half hours in each one of them. So Nisan, Achodesh Azelachem, that's the beginning. Then we have Tammuz, Tishrei and Tevet, the four seasons. So, in which hour in the day each season begins, it's a very clear, systematical way of, of running. So you have the 365 plus the six hour, each day it's, it's full day. So you have a, a Maslul Kavua, you have a permanent moving at the beginning of the night, middle of the night, beginning of the day, and the middle of the day. So at, at the descent time, it's the beginning of the hour. Between each season, you have seven and a half hour distance. So he said, Amar Shmuel, En tkufat nisan ofelet ela be'arba'a rivei hayom. The season of nisan, the, the vertinal um, um, season, the vernal uh, equinox, yeah. Aquinas occurs only at the beginning of one of the four quarters of the day. Mm -hmm. Or either precisely at the beginning of the day or precisely at the beginning of the night, at the middle of the day or at the middle of the night. Okay? So, the end of Tammuz and the summer season, the same thing that it said, either the conclusion of one and a half hour or seven and a half hour, or the day and the night, the end of the season of Tishrei, which is the autumn season, right? Autumnal. Only in a certain time, when? He says, Ela or Bishalosh or Betesh Shot, Ben Bayoma Ben Balaila. Either three hours or nine hours a day or night. Ven Kufa Tevet no Felet Ela Barbo, Mechza or Besso, Mechza Ben Bayoma Ben Balaila. The winter time, again, it has to be four and a half or ten and a half, regardless day or night. Ven Kufa, Ven Ben Kufa, Let Kufa, Ela Tishim, Vehadion Vishabar Shot Mechza. Between each season, we have ninety one day and seven and a half hours total. And so each um, uh, season uh, begin precisely one and a half uh, plantarly hour. Ela Chatzisha passed the beginning of the previous season. Um, so there are seven um, um, a, um, a, a heavenly bodies that are each ascendance for an hour at a time and constant rotation. He says, Vamar Shmuel, Elachat Kufa Nisan Shofelet Betzelek Shnam Shaber Tailanot. So we have basically seven stars. Um, in Hebrew it's called Kochab, Levana, Shabtai, Tzedek, Maadim, Chama. In English is Mercury, Moon, uh, Saturn, uh, Jupiter, Mars, and uh, Sun, and Venus. So each season begins a half an hour later in this rotation than the previous season. So. So he said that it can be, there is no instance when this season uh, occurred on the, on the Jupiter that it does not break the trees with its strong wind. And you know, there is no instance when the winter occurred in the Jupiter that does not dry up the seeds. And it's a ply where the new moon appear either in the hour of the moon or the hour of the Jupiter. So you see always these seven stars without stop, and you always have to add a half an hour.
We just turned the page 56B, תנו רבנן המרבע את העיר עושה אותה כמין טבלה מרובעת. So he said, one who squares the city. So, this is the city. Remember, we have here, let me use the pencil. You have this city, and you make this square around the circle of the yeah, city. Yeah. Everyone see it? Mm -hmm. So, originally was a round a circular city, and circle, you gave it corners. And now we make it a corner. So, when he needs to measure, um, he put the, the chart of 2000 and match it. He said, In order for him to measure for Shabbat, he needs to have a precondition to make it corner. And Rashi explained here, and I, and I explained it in my book uh, at length. I have a long uh, writing. In my book, Birak Lomar Berashi al I explained that Merabea, meaning that he is basically, um, um, he like add to make this, this corner. So he make this chart, uh, this chart and he, he like match it on that one. So you have this around and then you have the square on the top. וחוזר ומרבע את התחומים. So basically what happened here? We have here, you see this corner? It's 400 cubit, this corner, and this is something that we gain. ועושה אותן כמין טבלה מרובעת, which means that um, you take this and you make it like, you see this corner? This is the 2000 amma. And this is the 800 amma because you have this corner, and this is the the way that you measure it. In addition, and here Rashi is, is a long explanation, and also use the word klomar again, and I explain it in a book in 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 very short. Um, he, he filled up that corner of 800. Um, so in other words, when he measure, he that measure from the middle of the of the uh, part 2000 uh, cubit but he takes uh, this square and that is 2000 and 2000 and he put it at this corner okay so it means that the city have 400 in each side so 400 here in the green part and 400 year on the green part so it's all together 800 here and 800 here so in other words he add to the city he says because um, if he put this exactly the alachson it's much longer Mm -hmm. So it basically, if you because the 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 shoulders this part, then the the square is shorter. So um, it it basically if you take from this point to this point, you have twenty eight hundred cubits because it's um, again it's a 2,400, 400. Which means, what they do here, he's taking uh, four, like, like four kubiot. Um, he take four kubiot, okay, of 2,000 cubit. Shehi al paimama al paimama. That if you take all this part, it's together 2,800 cubit. Which means you have altogether 2,800 cubit, which is 40% more alachson than the regular midal, regular measurement. Um, uh, in other words, if you measure from here to here versus from here to here, so it, it's a 40% more. Nimtzet, ha'ir mistakeret 
400 amot lechan ו-400 amot lechan We add an addition to the city 400 cubit in each corner נמצאו תחומים מסתקרים 800 amot וכאן ו-800 amot וכאן So you see all together that it's 800 in each corner נמצאו העיר ותחומים מסתקרים So all together the limits of the city is what? 1,200 לכאן ו-1,200 לכאן It's 1,200 to each corner So because uh, if you take the city and you have from here to here in each part 2,800 So he said אמר אביה ומשכחת לה במטה דהבה תרי אלפי אתרי אלפי. He said you find this projection of the addition to the city border and Shabbat boundaries at the, um, at the case of the round city that is 2,000 cubit but by 2,000 cubit. So now, since the Torah commanded to, to give to the, to the Leviim, to the Levite, 48 cities in the land of Israel. Um, that's in the book of Bamidbar, chapter 35. So therefore, in addition to the city, they have also area around their city for their needs. So uh, soon we call it the Tchumair, the limit of the city. That limit was divided to two. The power that is close to the city was empty, people not living there permanently and not planning there. And it's called Migrash, like, like, like a lot. The other part was designated for vineyard, for, for uh, trees, for, for field, etc. So here we bring in a brighter to deal with that. Because all these halachot in regards to the limits of the uh, Levite cities, it's very similar to the halachot of uh, Shabbat limitation, because both is 2,000 cubit, and in both of them we need to take the square of the Shabbat limit. Um, and the truth is that we learn from one another, which means we learn the, the, the square of Shabbat from the halachot involved with the cities of the Levites, And it's a very similar, it's a lot of um, mechanism between the two. Tanya. Amar Rabbi Eliezer Rabbi Yossi. Tchum arei leviyim al paimama. He said the boundary, boundary of the cities of the Levites extended 2,000 cubits in each direction beyond the inhabitants section of the city. Tzemem elef ama migrash. You remove from them a thousand cubits of open, open space just beyond the inhabited area. Nimtza migrash revia veashar sadot ukramim. So you see that as a result, the open space is one quarter of the extended area and the rest is field and vineyard. Menanemile. How do you know that? So he said, Amarava da Makra, because the Torah said in the book of Numbers, chapter 35, they said, He says, surround the, the city with uh, a thousand cubits of all sides to serve the open space. So they, they, it means that the, the Torah said, I'm sorry, the Torah said, And the open space of the city you shall, shall give to the Leviim shall be from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits round, running about. So you see, surround the city with a thousand cubits of all sides serve as an open space. So he said, which means that uh, we open space is in one quarter of the area. So the Gemara asks, Nimtza Migrash Revia? So it means that um, um, 
Revia Palga Havi. So it's one quarter, it's one and a half. So it's a half of the size. Because you give to the to Levite what? Two thousand cubit around the city and one thousand is a half of that uh, property. So the Gemara said, Amarava bar Ada Meshocha as Barale. So he said that uh, Rav Ada, the uh, Savior, explained the calculation to me. Mashkachat la bemata de hava tre alfe a tre alfe. Morot Adaf, picture 204. Everyone see it? Okay. We have here the city of 2,000 cubits. We make this match, matching four. And these four corners. So what is the trum? That's the, the brown part. And this is the red part, the corner. So if you take out the middle, you see this blue part? Everyone see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what do you have? You said, Tchum Kama Hava, Shitzar, Kranot Kama Hava, Shitzar, Dal Tam Nehade Tchumin, Arbaa De Kranot Kama Hava Treisar. So, if you take out, subtract this part, so how much you have? When you take it out, you have the the red part. You have half the half. Yep. Which means that is twelve thousand squares of thousand by thousand cubits. <coughs> right. So he said, "Nimtza migrash revia tfei mitlataninu," which means that the open space found in one quarter, um, a, a quarter of the area. The more than one third. Mm -hmm. So he said. So it means that altogether, it's you have here a thirty-four, thirty-two uh, squares of thousand by thousand cubits. So they said, "Aite arbaad de mata shdealau." Bring the four million square cubits of the city itself and add them to the area of the limit and you'll arrive at the correct ratio. So the Gemara said, Akate tilta have. So uh, you still, uh, your open space is still one third. So the Gemara answer, Mi savart. Do you going to tell me Beri Buakam or Beri Gulakam? You see this four that we said originally? He says, no, it's not talking about this part, which is the mm -hmm. square. We talk about a circle, a circle, the blue one. Mm -hmm. So he said, everyone see it? Kama meruba yeter ala igul. What's the, the, the square bigger than the circle? You basically have you got the corners. Corners, right? Mm -hmm. What's the the size? He said revia. So like the 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 uh, quarter. Okay. One quarter. Dal revia minai. You subtract 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 one quarter from the twelve million square cubic cubit of open space. Pshule utisha. And nine million square cubit are left. So it, 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 nine and precisely one quarter of <coughs> 36 because you have to look at those small quarters mm -hmm. and count them. So he said, Abai Amal, Abai offer a different explanation. And he said, Mashkarat la Nami bemata de Havia alpha be alpha. He said, this apply in the, in the place 
that they have thousand by thousand. What does that mean, alpha by alpha, thousand by thousand? What do you understand? No, tell me. You find this open space, what? In, is one quarter of the total area of the city that is thousand cubit by thousand cubit. This is the thousand cubit. And this is the blue part. Mm -hmm. So, what? Right. So you have here what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, if you go by that, so he said, Tchumin Kamahavu Tmania. You have four ribuim, we have eight ribuim, eight square, by we each one of them, how, lo, how much is it? Thousand by thousand cubic. Mm -hmm. So, because each one of them is two thousand by one thousand in each one of the side of the city, that it's all together thousand by thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's all eight. Granot Kamaabe, what is the size of the four corners? He said, Shitsa, you have sixteen. Why sixteen? You tell me. Count them. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, four seven, squares eight, are nine. four, that's 16. So yeah. you were four is 16? So he said, if that's the case, we just a few lines in page 57. He says, Dal, Arbat Chumin Verbak Dikranot. You subtract four million square feet, uh, cubits of the extent boundary of the area of open, open space Kamahavat Mania you have here 8,000 by 1,000 so now the Gemara asks Tilta Havu so you basically here have um, uh, one third one, one, one third of the total area of the extended boundaries so the Gemara said it's not, again, next picture, 207. You don't talk about square. You talk no, about circle. circle. So he said, circle, kama meruba yeter ala igul, revia. It's the, it's the, it's the, what? One fourth, right? One fourth. Dal revia pashulushita. If you remove one fourth, it you have eight. So he said, veshita me esrim ve'arba revia ahavei. So if you subtract subtract one quarter from the 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 six million square cubits that are left, and six is precisely one quarter of the twenty four. Because this is the, the, the brown is the trum. Mm -hmm. And here you have four, eight, 16, 24. And you have the circle and the small circle. So, uh, uh, Ravina Amar, my Ravia, Ravia de Trumin. So, uh, Ravina disagree. And he said, what is the meaning of the statement that the open space is one quarter? So he said, it has to be the, 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 um, it's like different explanation, he said it's one quarter of the boundaries. You see, one quarter of the boundaries, this is the 2,000 cubits. And you take one quarter of each part, you see the blue part? Mm -hmm. That's one quarter of those boundaries. So what happened here? So he said, it means that that uh, that um, that all the the size. You have the eight eight ribuim. Um, it's one fourth of this size. That it's altogether thirty six um, boxes uh, uh, quarter. The fourth explanation, Rav Ashi Amar, just let me finish a few lines, we reach the Mishnah quickly. Rav Ashi Amar, my Revia, Revia de Kranot. Rav Ashi said, what is the, um, the, the Revia, the corner? 
it's uh, it's the it's the you see the blue one of those corners that's the revia which means um, you see that there are four ribuim and it's all together you have here all the, the, the together all the size of the kranot is a 16 16 ribuim it's written uh, in the Levim that it has to be around Saviv. So it said, My Saviv, Saviv di Kranot. What does that mean? Around? Around the corner, which means the open space of this side is provided at each corner. Each corner. If you don't, that way, Gabe Ola Dichtiv. They said in Vayikra that the sons of Aaron they sprinkled the blood around the altar. It's not that they do it really sprinkle around the water. It's just the pinot, the corner of that altar, but not in the entire wall of the Ela Mai Saviv Saviv de Kranot. Just the the pinot, the corner. Achenamai Mai Saviv Saviv de Kranot Saviv de Kranot the corners. אמר לי חביבי מחוזן לרב אשי ואי כמושה דקרנטה He says, but what do you do? Rashi said that you have thousand around here and you have this corner you see the blue part and you see this uh, round and the square so you have מושה דקרנטה so, so it's not, you don't have one thousand in each side, because you have those corners. So he said, has to be Bemata Igulta. It's applied to the city that is um, um, a, um, a round city. The Haribua, but you make it square. So he said, it's, it's uh, we view the city as it was a square, so um, uh, they said, if that's the case, do we actually add houses and square it? Which means even the, the, the purpose um, uh, it's, it's of calculating extended boundary, we view the city as a square. Um, it, we have here a, a section that it, was, it is not inhabited and, and it's part of the open space. So Amar le Rav Chanilai Mechozana le Rav Ashi Mikdi Kama Merubai Atera Lai Gul Revia What is the the um, the um, how much is the larger the area of a square than the area of the circle? It's one quarter. So that says since we calculate Chitu Meash Tinu Shia Nechet Lata Avdei. So it means it's a six hundred and sixty-seven less one third, which means that it's six sixty-six and two-third cubit. So the additional of the quarter, it's quarter of, of that quarter, which means that is one-third of the circle, which is the 666 and two-third. Amar That's applied when this, the, the round is smaller in one-fourth one of the of the uh, of the square himself, aval be'alachsona. However, with regard to an additional diagonal space add to the corner of the square, ba'ein and fei, you need more. You need to add more of the one third. Amar mar kol amta beribua, that we say that every cubit of the side of a square amta utrei chum shei ba'alachsona. So it has to be uh, one of the uh, two fifth cubits. It's a diagonal. So, uh, so therefore, it's exact that, that the diagonal of the square is two thirds more, that is in addition to 800 cubits. First, Alachai Shulchanor Chorachaim 399, Keitzad Merabim et How one squares the boundaries. The outer limits of a city are delineated as a square. One then adds an extended boundary of 2,000 cubits in each direction, which is also delineated as a square. The case of Mishnah and the Rambam 
Sefer Zmanim El Chochmita Viovel, chapter 13, said in regard to Tchum Areal Viim, the boundaries of the Levi cities, 1,000 cubits are measured outward in each direction from the city wall for the open space into which 2,000 cubits are added in each direction for the boundary. This follows the straightforward meaning of the Mishnah in tractate Sota, although it does not accord with the Gemara here. So, and we explained earlier that we juxtapose, we learn the, the Shabbat, the limit of Shabbat, from the Leviim, from the cities of the Levites.